Chester Barry gave me the opportunity to create this collection. Uh, it's really and truly my first ready-to-wear men's collection. Uh, but it, it, it's, it's allowed me to put all the years of knowledge that I've gained working with private clients in my own personal business into a much broader field. Uh, and I've been able to use a lot of the... the uh, ideas that I have and make them more into a commercial sense. Correct. Put them into a commercial sense. Okay. But maintaining the same philosophy regarding the, the appearance of the garment, the silhouette of the garment, the expression of the garment and also the, the way a garment should be romanced. Beautiful. So what kind of man do you do you see for the spring summer 2013? Well I'm hoping that he's not going to be wearing those very tight jackets mm -hmm. with those very narrow pants. I would like a man to look like a man again. All right, beautiful. You know, I want a man to be a man. Yeah. And uh, where he where he's comfortable, looks comfortable and at peace with himself in his clothing. Whereas now he looks like he's been hung out to dry. Okay, beautiful. And the, the I want a man to look sexy. Oh yeah, beautiful, really interesting. Why? I want him to look sexy. And That's uh, great. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the color palette, I, I see. Color palettes, you know, this color palette idea. All right. Obviously, there are there are colors that are, are timeless. You know, menswear got into color because of women's wear, and then it started off in sportswear, okay. and now they're bringing it into the, the side of wear. But quite frankly, men always look good in a solid colour. Sometimes with a little self-design. It's not such a seasonal thing with men colour. Okay, beautiful. Not such a seasonal deal, not such a big deal. But it, it's important in terms of with a, the overall look, so that you can combine the shirt, the ties. They are the, they are the, they are the, the things that make the garment.